Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing chain of infection. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this video will be What is chain of infection? What are the components of chain of infection? how to break the chain of infection and what are the nursing considerations. Let's get into the topic. The chain of infection or chain of transmission is a model used in healthcare to understand the process by which infectious diseases spread. It consists of a series of interconnected links, each representing a step in the transmission process. Now comes the components of chain of infection. The components or links of chain of infection includes the infectious agent or microorganism, reservoir or source, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, and susceptible host. Understanding and breaking the chain of infection is essential for healthcare professionals to effectively control and prevent the spread of infectious diseases in the healthcare settings and the community. First comes the infectious agent. The chain begins with the infectious agent, which can be bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. These pathogens have specific characteristics such as virulence, that is, ability to multiply and grow, pathogenicity, which is ability to cause disease, and invasiveness, that is, ability to enter the tissues. Next comes reservoir or source. This means the environment or habitat where a pathogen can live and multiply. It can be environmental surfaces or equipment, body fluids like blood, saliva, etc., urine or fecal material, food or water, soil, skin, respiratory tract, etc. Next is portal of exit. Pathogens leave the reservoir through a portal of exit, which can be various routes such as skin to skin, skin to surface, blood, mucous membranes, oral cavity, fecal, respiratory secretions, etc. Next comes the mode of transmission. This means by which an organism transfers from reservoir to susceptible host. Direct transmission may be through airborne, droplet, contact, example skin, bite, needle stick, or other sharp injury. Indirect transmission may be through fomites, contaminated equipment or medication, for example, multi dose vials, single dose vials, vectors, food, and water. Next is portal of entry. It is the opening where an infectious disease enters the host's body, such as mucous membranes, open wounds, or tubes inserted in body cavities like urinary catheters or feeding tubes. Next comes the susceptible host. This means the person at risk. Patient or healthcare worker or factors affecting susceptibility, for example, age, health, comorbidities, immune system, nutrition, infective dose, medications. Now, breaking the chain of infection. Nurses play a critical role in breaking the chain of infection through various strategies. Breaking any link of the chain can stop the transmission of infection. Infectious agent. Use antibiotics or antivirals to kill or control germs. Vaccinate against diseases like flu and measles. Clean and sterilize medical tools and equipments. Next is reservoir. Wash hands regularly to limit germ spread. Isolate sick individuals to prevent spreading germs. Keep surroundings clean to prevent germ growth and pest control. Next, portal of exit. Cover during coughs and sneezes to stop germs from spreading. Dispose of 
Use the tissues and bandages properly. Use special bags for contaminated materials. Hand hygiene, wearing personal protective equipment and control of aerosols are also significant measures. Next mode of transmission, following hand hygiene to prevent germ transfer, wearing gloves and masks to avoid touching germs, cleaning, disinfection and sterilization. Use different precautions based on how germs spread like contact or airborne precautions. Next, portal of entry. Keep skin and mucous membranes intact to stop germs from entering. Use clean techniques during medical procedures to avoid introducing germs. Proper removal of tubes and catheters are followed. Clean surfaces and objects to reduce germ exposure. Next, susceptible host. Encourage vaccinations to strengthen immunity. Manage health conditions that make people more vulnerable. Teach people how to protect themselves from germs. So, so far we have discussed what is chain of infection, what are the components of chain of infection and how to break the chain of infection and what are the nursing considerations. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.